And so use those times to respond, to connect your soul to Him. It's a practical way to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul. And the last one is with your mind. Your mind or your thoughts, meaning the decisions that you make. And if we're going to love God with all of our mind, it means He is our guide and we're, you, we're, we're moving our mind, we're, we're making decisions in light of where He's inviting us to go. It simply means we follow. We follow His way of life. We, we obey is another word. That we, we don't try to work around it. We don't try to come up with our own we just like, God, what, what is it that you're inviting me to do? And I'm going to take that next step. We take each thought captive. We want to become like Christ. Jesus himself, he taught it this way. When you obey my commandments, when you follow my teaching, when you trust my way of life, you remain in where? You remain in my love. We're receiving that in our life. So just as I obey my father's commandments and I remain in his love, like this is. This is what it means to follow. And here's the result. Jesus says, I've told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. So many people think Christianity is a list of rules that kind of ruins life. When in reality, Jesus is like, it's an invitation for you to trust. Like Jesus is inviting us into God's way of life. And his goal is that we would be filled with joy. Do you want to be filled with joy? Yes. Yes. Like, I want to be filled with joy. Me too. If that's the case. Follow his way of life. Obey what he says. And what's interesting when he's saying this, like, hey, if you obey me, you remain in my love. Do you know what the very next verse is? This is my commandment then. To love each other in the same way that I have loved you. He didn't say love each other the way that you love each other. He said love each other the way that God loves which is not based on how other people make us feel. We don't love other people because of the value or perceived value that they could bring our life. We don't love people because they agree with us or do everything that we do or believe what we believe. No, we love because we know that God sees value in them. We love because even though they're a sinner, God loved me while I was still a sinner. And it's not easy. I know it's hard. We'll spend the next few weeks talking about that. But here's the thing. What you will see as we, as we learn how to love others is you will actually become more in awe of God's love of you. And in return, your love of God will grow. So let's think about this. For you, are you loving the Lord your God and are you remembering his love of you? In a moment, you'll have an opportunity to remember and receive that by remembering Jesus' body, Jesus' blood, shed and given for you. When we remember that, are you loving him with your heart? Are you loving him with your soul? Are you loving him with your mind? Are you giving love back? And when Jesus gave the greatest commandment, it was not a path for you to earn his love. It's how we respond to his. So what's the step that God is inviting you to take today? What is that next step? If you've never received his love, Maybe right now is an opportunity for you in the quietness of your heart to start that life-changing adventure with him. And just say, God, today I want to follow you. I want to receive your love. I want to receive the forgiveness that Jesus made available at the cross and the new life that his resurrection can provide me. I want to follow you from this day forward. Make that your prayer right now. Start that journey of faith with him. For others of you, it means trusting God with your heart. Like, what, what treasure is he inviting you to open your... To, to like proactively give back to move your heart in his direction. Maybe it's loving him with your soul. Starting to have real conversation through prayer. Join us for 21 days of prayer. Maybe it's trusting God with his way of life, his principles. It's time to come on back, get on track. Not because you're earning God's love, but you're responding to his incredible love of you. My prayer is that God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, you would help each and every one of us see and step into the next step you're inviting us to take. God, I ask that every single person watching in the air would get a sense of how wide and how long and how high your deep, your love is for each of us. 
And God, I, I believe that as we see that, it will bring answers to so many questions about our life, our purpose, and your will. God, I pray that every person, we all would know how amazing your love is, though it is too great for us to fully comprehend. And as we see your love, God, I, I hope that we all respond in love back to you in a way that will change us and change the world as your love flows through us to the people around us. So I can't wait to see what you're going to do as a result of all of this. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, Jesus. So when you came in, you were offered a communion cup. But is it, if you said yes to Jesus, then, then we're going to take communion. And if you're still investigating, then just stay curious at what's going on and, and, and listen to the words that are said. And if you need a communion cup, just put your hand in the air. We've got some of our team available to bring one to you. If, if you need one, they'll bring one around to you. And, and you know, communion is part of what Ben talked about. It's that response. It's, it's responding to God's love.